Preterm and sick babies are very fragile and are often stressed while being handled during feeding, diaper change, dressing, undressing and transportation. A well-organized infant generally maintains their respiration and saturation levels, color, temperature and heart rate and demonstrates good muscle tone and tucked flexion at rest. In this video, we shall see some activities of daily living being done for the preterm and sick infants while the healthcare professional is taking care to minimize the stress and pain. All caregivers and healthcare professionals should wash or sanitize their hands before and after doing any activities of daily living for the preterm and sick newborn infant. Each infant is contained during all caregiving activities to reduce stress. The infant's position during these activities should support symmetric development. Feeding. The way a preterm infant is fed during the stay in NICU is not the natural way the infant would get nutrition in the womb. The family should be educated regarding the benefits of breast milk. The infant's head, neck and trunk should be supported by the caregiver's arm or body. Swaddling the infant during feeding reduces startles and unnecessary arm and leg movements which indicate stress. While the preterm or the sick infant is being fed, if possible, dim the light, reduce noise and other distractions. Infants must be awake and not asleep. Nasogastric or orogastric feeds can be very stressful for the infant. Containment, swaddling, kangaroo mother care and non-nutritive sucking during tube feeding is a good option to help infants regulate themselves. Some don'ts. Arms and legs should not dangle. Do not wake infants by tickling, pulling, flicking their ears or soles. Caregivers should not talk to others while feeding the preterm or sick infants. Skin care. Great care has to be taken to protect the preterm infant's skin surface during activities of daily living, medical intervention and procedures. Removal or application of adhesive products should be done carefully. Check for correct temperature while placing the infant under the warmer. Some don'ts. Rubbing of infants tender skin during activities of daily living and medical intervention. Infants skin should not be dry. Do not let pressure sores develop. Medical devices should not injure the skin of the newborn. Sponging. Temperature of the water should be lukewarm. Start from the head and sponge downwards to the legs, from clean to unclean. Stop and calm the newborn if stress signs are seen. Do not allow the infant to be cold. Massaging and oiling have to be monitored by health professions. Simply applying oil for the very preterm, very low birth and fragile infants reduces stress. It stimulates the infant's 
tactile sense, increases blood circulation and fosters emotional bonding with the caregiver. Massaging can be done in all positions. In supine, prone and sideline positions, we start massaging from the head, move to the face, chest, abdomen and finally the limbs. Fingers should be placed flat on the infant's body and massage should be done with moderate pressure using long, firm yet gentle strokes. Extending and flexing of limbs can be done during the massage. Some don'ts. A light feathery touch is a negative stimulant. Avoid massaging if the infant's tone is tight. Diaper change. Make sure clean diapers and wet cotton swabs are ready and near the infant. Open the dirty nappy and pick up both the legs of the infant, flexing it towards the abdomen. Clean from front to back in gentle strokes and not by rubbing. Make sure all the folds are clean and dried thoroughly. Changing clothes. Some do's. Clean clothes should be ready and near the infant. Gently change the garments, keeping in mind the leads attached to the monitors. Transfers and transportation. Some do's. Talking to infants prior to touching and handling them is useful and calms them down. Professionals and caregivers should roll the infant gently towards their side before picking them up. To reduce stress, the professional and caregiver could swaddle the preterm or sick infants adequately and hold the baby close to their body. While placing the infant on the mother's lap or on the bassinet, professionals and caregivers should bend the body forward and place the infant. This will promote continuous warmth and support for the infant throughout the transportation. Weighing scales should be brought near the infant's bassinet. Some don'ts. Care should be taken not to expose the infant to sudden changes in position and temperature. In this video, we have learned what the activities of daily living are and how small steps can be taken by the family and healthcare professionals to minimize stress and pain for the infants.